In my last video, I pointed out the crushing, and it is a crushing fact, that Kamala Harris is descended in a direct line from one of the largest plantation owners, uh, slave owners in Jamaica, a fellow Hamilton Brown, who lived from 1776 to 1843 uh, and owned more than 200 slaves. Now the question is, why does this matter? As some people on the left have said, and therefore what? What's the big deal, Dinesh? So I wanna point out what the big deal is. First of all, it's uh, very noticeable that for the last several months, the left has been rampaging through the country, trying to pull down monuments and dissociate the left and the Democratic Party from all vestiges, from all connections with slavery. Yet it turns out we have a living woman, Kamala Harris, who has a direct connection with slavery and is a direct beneficiary of it. This is the key point. If we think that history has effects in the present, that people today are the present beneficiaries of past exploitation, that would be true also of Kamala Harris. How did her father become a Stanford professor? How did she have the privileged upbringing she did? How did she have the advantages she did in moving into the political sphere? So that's the first point. The second point is that Kamala Harris is traveling in a sense on a false passport. And the false passport is, I'm the first African-American woman. Now, this is actually problematic on two fronts. First of all, African-American in the American context refers to connected to the legacy of slavery. That's what it means. Kamala Harris isn't. In that sense, she's like Obama. Obama's father was a Kenyan, so he was half Kenyan and half white. Kamala Harris is half Jamaican and half Asian Indian. So the African-American claim is dubious on its face. But the point of her trying to travel on this false passport is really clear. The morality tale, the whole notion of first black woman on the ticket is based upon the idea that, hey, here is a descendant of slaves, somebody from the lowest of the low, if you will, on the social stratum, who is now moving into a position where she could be inches from the White House. But of course, the truth in this case is the exact opposite. It's not here as a descendant of slaves. It's more accurate to say here is a descendant of the largest slave owner in Jamaica who is inches away from the Oval Office. And that doesn't quite have the same um, poignant ring, does it? Bottom line, Kamala Harris in ethnic terms is a kind of a fake. This is why, if you will, the left is not covering this story at all. They can't. It blows up their absurd narrative and it blows up their attempt already underway to elevate this woman to the highest of the high. She's the new messiah, if you will, after Obama. That's their only hope of getting this sorry ticket um, with, uh, with uh, Joe Biden at the head of it across the finish line. It's not gonna work, but it's a despicable fraud and I'm glad to have played some small role in pointing it out.